Hi guys, what's up? In this video, I'll show you a complete gaming review of the Samsung Galaxy E7. Now, in my previous video, I have actually give you a full review in terms of every aspects of E7. Now, this particular video will be solely dedicated for gaming aspects. So, by the way, let us go ahead. I have some beautiful games with me like Asphalt 8, Shadow Fight 2, Air Race, Dead Trigger 2, Brother in Arms 3, Stick Tennis. So let's dig deep into the game. At first, let us start with a simple game that is Stick Tennis. Okay, as you can see the speakers of this particular handsets are really great and awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm playing good I guess. Okay, that's it. So it's a very simple, a very basic game of course. And yeah, of course you can play it very easily and very smoothly in this particular handset. It's not much of a challenge for Galaxy E7. So let us very quickly, mm, let us move on to the next game. That is Brother in Arms 3. Now it's a very good game. It's a new game that I have seen and actually it's my personal best of the lot uh, currently. I'm playing it a lot. Let's hit play. As you can see, the sound quality of Galaxy E7 is very decent and very good I should say and graphics wise of course there is nothing more to say it's very good but let us play the game and see how it turns around Okay, it's lagged behind but why not, it's a very interesting and very engrossing game. You cannot shoot a video and talk and play this particular game because you need some concentration over here. But nevertheless, let us move on to the next game and before moving on, what I should say that uh, till now I have not faced any hitting issue in this particular game. Uh, as you can see even on the back side or near the camera side, it does tense that yeah, maybe a uh, part of uh, part of hitting is going on but it's not that much of a deal nevertheless because end of the day we are playing some high-end graphics game also over here a, a small portion of hitting is quite understandable okay let us just go and hit asphalt date uh, now I have obviously set it up in very high graphics let's play the Iceland level for now and see it's a higher end graphics game of course uh, so let's see how the device performs with asphalt date as of now Okay, as you can see even in the turnings and all it's giving a very good sound effect and obviously the graphics quality is very high and very awesome and of course till now I have not seen any lagging issues whatsoever in this particular handset let us still dig deep and play more of Asphalt Day in the higher resolution that I am doing so currently
okay I have completed the Iceland level for now and still let me see if the heating issues is compatible with this particular handset or not but I don't know personally for me I think end of the day this particular handset does have a does run on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset uh, with a quad core processor that is clocked at 1.2 gigahertz and has a 2 gigs of RAM so it's a heaven for game lovers and also for multitasking the Android handset and having played a game of like Asf Asphalt 8 as of now I have not seen any uh, note for the heating issue in this particular handset as of now till uh, so uh, okay let us play another high end game that is a dead trigger 2 and see how this particular handset performs okay the start of course okay the start, start of course it shows very great I should say as because system I must say it's awesome pretty awesome and of course graphically it's spellbound I should say because I'm personally quite impressed with the uh, display quality of Samsung Galaxy E7 and also I have tested the Samsung Galaxy E5 and the A5 and A7 uh, of course uh, speaker wise A7 uh, is a top notch over there but yeah of course having said that E7 does also have a decent speaker and very good graphics considering that it's a higher mid range device. Great. It does feel like lifelike while playing games like Death Trigger 2. And of course Brother in Amps 3. It just feels that yeah, end of the day you are also a soldier. Such is the perfection, such is the detailing in uh, of, of these games. And when uh, when you have a uh, handset like the Samsung Galaxy E7, it does uh, show feels like a heaven for the game lovers. Till now I am not feeling any of the heating issues whatsoever that has been found in the recent handsets of Samsung Galaxy. Okay. So a complete level of Dead Trigger 2 has also completed over here. And yeah it says mission complete congratulations whatever it is. But having said that uh, I am just feeling my palm uh, at the back of the uh, handset it's a metallic build. And considering that yeah we have played some of the high end games already it has no some drastic heating. Uh, problems I can say that yeah of course some uh, some portions of the particular handset does feel the heat but it's not that big a deal I should say uh, because end of the day you are playing a game and of course uh, game does uh, use up the chipsets and the motherboards and the RAMs uh, consistently okay last of all lastly I should end the video by playing this particular game that says Air Race I love this Air Race because it's an air, uh, air game and racing is involved Okay, as you can see of course As you can see obviously the race started over here and 
straightforward race, graphics wise, sound wise, it's all the bits great. Gives you a great feeling also to play this type of games. And finish. Okay, end of the day, it's simple, straightforward game. Having said all of that, uh, I should say that Samsung Galaxy E7 is a heaven for game lovers because it also has a 5.5 inch of display and a great processor, great RAM. And the most noteworthy feature that I intend to show you is that it's a great phone in terms of performance because if, if I should multitasking options over here, you will see that a lot of things are going on in the background. I have not intentionally wiped them off in order to show you the performance of this particular handset. And even in the higher graphics games, it has not lagged behind a single time. So that's definitely a thumbs up for Samsung Galaxy E7. That's it guys. If you like the video, please do give a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And please stay subscribed to my channel if you have not already done it. I'll catch you guys in my next video very very soon. That's it guys. Bye for now.